Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. And uh, today we have a stipulation from Haj Gulashi himself, longtime stream supporter. Uh, the stipulation from Haj Gulashi is stipulation, draft at least one card. So that's what we're going to try to do today. Um, we're going to try to build around that. Uh, I am going to take Ancestral Recall, and I think... Um, I think this will probably be the card uh, for the stip that we're gonna that we're gonna draft. So we did it. We drafted at least one card. Um, I think that's pretty good. I I think uh, you know as far as cards go, I think that's probably one of our best options. And uh, you know, Hajigulashi, I I hope that uh, the stipulation was. Uh, uh, I hope I hope we fulfilled the 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 spirit of the stipulation, and uh, hopefully. Uh, that uh you know hopefully uh, you, you approve and you enjoyed the draft so thanks for the support man really appreciate it and uh we'll see you next time better than lotus fight me no chris i will definitely not fight you on that one my dude i uh don't disagree i would rather have an ancestral than a lotus I feel like it's actually pretty comical that Hajigulashi did this meme stip where it's like, draft at least one card. And like, the the one card is literally my favorite card in Magic the Gathering. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess it's probably just Worm Coil Engine here, right? I don't want to like... The only blue card is Trinket Mage, and I have no incentive to be any of these colors. So Fiery Confluence is pretty good. We just did blue-red. But does that... Does that matter? I don't know. Take second card like a show off, shaking my head. Wow. Dude, we get it. The stip's over, all right, man? God. Unbelievable. Fiery Confluence is still very, very good. I kind of like it better than Worm Coil. Oh! Buttery biscuits. I mean, yes. Yes, I will take you and put you in my beautiful pile of ancestral recall mind twist huh huh what if we go Ancestral Recall ourselves, draw Mind Twist, Mind Twist you? Yeah, if you cast Ancestral Recall on your opponent, you get to draw six. So that's just good value. I think in terms of... I think in terms of quality, it is Mind Twist. Like, Riffling Cloud Sky is actually great. But we're not necessarily red yet, so I'm just going to take the Mind Twist because good gravy is that a powerful card. Opposition, huh? I almost like Spell Pierce here. Spell Pierce did some work last 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 draft. Can it do it again? Bitter Blossom. That combination of Magic the Gathering cards is what you would call card advantage, Frank. Just as Richard Garfield intended. I'll take Bitter Blossom here. Dude, I did get godded that one time about that spell pierce. That was brutal. I kind of like Choops here. Choops kills everything. And I, I just, you know, I just like a Choops. Lotus Bloom. Oh, baby. That's just basically like Black Lotus, right? It's not. I'm going to take Dig Through Time. We got Ancestral, Spell Pierce, Mind Twist. We got some things going to the graveyard. How's today been? Not bad. We already we trophied once. We, we already uh, we set the bar pretty high. Dun, 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 dun. 
<laughs> oh god that that spell pierce jesus why do you have to keep showing it oh talarian academy that's really good if we hit any artifacts whatsoever and in high quantity i think it's just chandra here and we're still going to try to hope to be uh eh. actually we'll take right. yeah kite self rebooter is fine Wow, not a single fixing land at all. I mean, Fire Confluence and Chandra definitely seem good enough to play Grixis here, so. I mean, we're just gonna, if we can just open Lotus or Time Walk, I mean, I think we'll be fine, but. I guess also On Color Mox is good, too. I don't want to, I don't want to be greedy. On Color Mox is fine. Thran? We, oh, we got Bitter Blossom? Yeah, we're definitely taking Thran. Any relevant Power 9 will do. Oh, did they, did they replace the Mirari's Wake with the old Mirari's Wake? That's interesting. Well, there's also... There's also... I mean, if, if our goal is to play Fire of Confidence and Chandra, there's also, uh, you know, the red one. See how see how you smash when your hands fall off. My nerds. I like Force of Negation here. I also like Grim Monolith a lot, especially with a Consecrated Sphinx and a Mind Twist. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Grim Monolith. Oh, 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 oh! I'm just gonna put him in the pile. Just a hell of a deck. <laughs> oh that emoji is fantastic that emote emote I guess not an emoji Frank you old idiot it's not an emoji okay that hot fart is really good too actually good I like inquisition here actually that one's those are all very I like all three of these these emotes are very very good they're very clear which is super nice I think it's just Inquisition here Big Moles which I love Splinter Twin which is alright Tinker sucks for us I think it's just Big Moles although we could play Sword because we do have Bitter Blossom Phantasmal image seems great. I don't think we need ancestral vision. I'll just take phantasmal image. Dark petit dark petizione. Removal. I mean, we got ravenous chupacabra. 
What more do you want? Could just take Tundra. Yeah, I'm going to take the Tundra. It turns on like any black fetch land. Thing in the ice. Thing in the ice. Break me off a piece of that thing in the ice. Bargain. I mean, we already have enough card advantage, I think, between Ancestral Recall, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Muldrift for Consecrated Sphinx, Dig Through Time. I don't think we need to be bargaining here. I do like Thing in the Ice. One, two, three. I think I think we just want Thing in the Ice here. Could take the Rakdos land. Yeah, let's take the Rakdos land. I don't like it. Oh, Ulamog. Oh, Sheldock Isle. Sheldock Isle. Sheldock Isle. Yeah, Sheldock seems amazing in this deck. Me, Misha's Workshop came back. Let's play Orzhov Signet. Now we have Tundra and Orzhov Signet. Ophiomancer's cute too, especially with Yogmoth, actually. Ancestral popping a thing in the ice would be a beautiful thing. <laughs> Ophiomancer with Yogmoth. Ooh, that's fascinating. But also ramp. I'll take this. Oh, now we can splash Teferi? Oh, yes. Wow, that is a... That Teferi wield, boy. What do we take Black Cleave Cliffs over? I don't actually know. I don't think it was anything super exciting. Franklin, I have a stipulation. Katie, I'm listening, my love. Your switchless boyfriend is listening. Oh, we didn't take Thing in the Ice? Alright, that's fine. Break me off a piece of that biscuit, boy. Say what? Sea Chrome. Oh, Scrubland. Let's take a Scrubland. Oh, now... Oh, Colonnade? Oh, now we're just Esper, boys. I'll take Mana Flare. Wow. Tundra Colonnade Scrubland. Seems legit. I want you to draw as many cards as possible and then also figure out how to win, but drawing cards is the main priority. <laughs> I feel like this is just that step, right? We have Dig Through Time, Consecrated Sphinx, Teferi, Mull Drifter. Even Yogmoth lets us draw cards. Uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, Ancestral Recall. So 7 out of 15 cards in our deck let us draw things. So that's pretty cool. Marsh Flats is great. So is Dak Faden, but we don't have a really efficient way to cast a Dak Faden. I also love Aganti. I also love Charter Course and Glenland Archmage. So, you know. I think it's actually Glen. This pack's actually pretty rough. This pack would be great if I could take the whole pack. I'd play Charter Course, Glenland, Giganti, Marsh Flats. And I'd find a way for Dak Faden with this Rakdos Signet. <laughs> I just feel like Glenn Lange, like two counter spells on a card, is just too strong. Oh, Baleful Strix is nice. Yeah, that's the only card I really care about in this pack. Yeah. Bribery! <laughs> I'm going to take the bribery because it's just bonkers and <laughs> vintage cube is where you want bribery boys oh skull clamp and we got we got bitter blossom also factor fiction real talk oh three mana teferi though oh yeah we're taking three mana teferi yeah 
What are your top three first picks tonight? Matt, I've done like two I've done like two Ikoria drafts, so I don't actually even know. Blood Curdle has been really, really good. I mean, there's 11 cards. If Remand, Hero's Downfall, or Kaya come back... Even, like, I've even played Containment Priest. I'm gonna just take an Ashiok. That, probably, that pack was also... Nutter Butters. Oh, Time Warp? Hmm. Sure. I mean, we have Teferi, Jace, Teferi, Ashiok. So Time Warp is actually pretty decent. Oracle? Over a time warp, Mark? Mark, have you ever taken an extra turn, buddy? Unbelievable. Concealed Courtyard? Oh, him to Torok? Yeah, we already have Tundra Celestial Scrubland. Yeah, we're just taking the him to Torok. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're doing. I'm doing Michael Scott when he does the $6 million man. So that's pretty, that's pretty something. Godless Shrine? Huh. A stepmom of Rune. Like, even if you just cast Mindslaver once. Not to bring this up, but can we talk about CFB preference? But that's funny because you literally did bring it up. So I don't know what your alternative... Well, I don't know what you were going for there, but I got news for you. You brought it up. Holy Spumoni. That was a delicious calzone. Beautiful. Oh, damn. You're right. Llama Glyph, what up, my dude? Is this Modern Cube or something else? This is what is in the description, which says Vintage Cube, my dude. So. <laughs> Here goes my stimulant. So long, buddy. So long. I mean, one day I'll get a stimulus, guys, I'm sure. Not today, though. Oh, I like a Tide Hollow Skull. I also like, I just like Hypnotic Spectre. I think Hypnotic Spectre is just fine. Plus, you have a pretty decent, uh,. discard deck here yep we cannot determine your eligibility for a payment at this time someone actually mentioned just call the irs but like i literally googled it and like you can't apparently there's not a, a live system in place right now to help people because there would just be too many 
Uh, I don't know Shady Bunny. Uh, I don't. We're not. We don't share a tag if we're on the same team. If they're if they're a Fade to Car member, we're on the same team. But I mean, I don't know every team member I have because there's a lot of them. Um, is Resto any good? It's good on Choops, it's good on Mull. Actually, I think Resto is actually pretty decent here. It's good on Baleful Strix. Yeah, it's good on you, on Chooperino, on Mull Drifter, on, on Strix. That seems fine. We do have to make two cuts here. What are they going to be? What is it going to be? Da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Take the Mind Slaver out. Because I'm not, I don't want to play Academy Ruins with three colors. So. <laughs> Probably Hypnotic Spectre. Tundra, Sheldock, Scrubby Boy, Celestial. When you don't know me anymore. Definitely only one of these, if if any. Five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven. So this is nine. Let's see how this looks by color. Yeah, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you probably don't want to blink the bribery target. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, wait. No. Yes, you... Yeah, it does. No matter what we get. Because Resto is one of the few cards that says return it to the battlefield under your under your control, not under its owner's control. So you can actually blink the creature you bribery. It's one of the few times that works. It's a real interesting situation. Okay, I actually just went to the bathroom. And then I, I put a hoodie on instead of a denim jacket, so... Did a little switcherino. But now we're gonna play. So suck on them eggs. Uh yeah, I'll keep this hand. Double black seems good for all the things we want to do. <laughs> Not a jacket. I feel betrayed. Oh, dang. To be fair, it is a, bro a, brother a Fallout Brotherhood of Steel hoodie. Which I feel like should count for something, right? How's it gonna be when you don't know me anymore? forgiven <laughs> Alan I love you buddy my my card is better than yours but I guess we're do I wish I was a I wish I had a white source here I can play Tarifi Raveler of Timey how's it gonna Michael B I'll phantasm image that thing to hit a to hit a thing Hit that thing to hit a thing. They're going to disenchant this. You ready? Wapa. I feel like we're just playing the mirror match. Walking Ballista for one. Sure. Huh. I want to tinker with you. We're tinkering. And I hope you like tinkering do. Celestial Colony is going to be on top. Ready? Oh, boom. Oh, Bitter Blossom. 
That's actually pretty good. So we have four cards, they have six cards. Oh, okay. Now, now it's four to four. Oh boy. Six mana, huh? Grave Daddy? No Grave Daddy, just a Preordain. Very confused about everything. Walking Burlista, shoot my bird, put a bird on it. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Yep, I'll take two. Yep, I'll take one. I will draw something good. Shoot. I don't know why I played that swamp first, unfortunately. I kind of just want to bounce their Mox Diamond. It seems pretty bad, right? Dang it! Yep, that was a big mistake. Because next turn we could have time warped. Yep, that was a big mistake. I think 50GQ is only back for a week. Yep. Shoot Teferi. Shoot my fairy rogue. Okay. I'll shoot my fairy rogue. Attack Teferi. Also good. Also good. I mean, if they're just spending their turn pumping walking ballista, then that's fine. Guess I'll take a molly... Molly McDrifterson. You ever notice how we always end up playing a pseudo mirror match the first game lately? I don't. I, it definitely. I definitely notice that it does happen sometimes. Oh look, they're gonna, they're just gonna replay Mox Diamond. You gonna discard another land? Oh, I'm just gonna take her. Take her away. No, they discard an island. And we have dig through time. Sheldock into Mole Drifter. Got a time warp under the under the thing. Something's happening. Butcher of the Horde? Just a counter. Okay, go to 12. Draw a Restoration Angel. Him to Torok. How many cards you got? Two? Let's get them. Ugin and Torrential Gearhulk. See you later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Bribery. Come on, give me something good. Colonnade? That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. We don't have Snapcaster or any way to get creatures back from our graveyard, I don't think. So our graveyard's largely irrelevant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mind twist for the last one. Oh god, Consecrated Sphinx though? It's definitely Sphinx for next turn, right? Maybe it's just Mind Twist. It just gets that last card. Inkwell Leviathan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so they have Inkwell, which means they probably have Tinker. Recall, Mox, Mana Drain, Spellseeker, and Library. It's pretty good. I mean, Spellseeker sucks unless you have those cards to get. Um, and now they can put two counters on Ballista, kill both our guys, and still attack, which is pretty nice. Yep. I mean, if we die to our own Bitter Blossom... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get this idiot out of here. Targeting yourself with a recall is smart. I agree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. And now we can still keep up Resto. Yeah, that's, that seems good. I'm gonna just block with oh no 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 attacks huh <coughs> big restos I don't think we need the cards at this point I'd rather just get rid of the blocker Yep, that's pretty solid.
And we just still got the queue up. Colonnade for Elendra. And that's the game. All right. It's a bunch of artifact nonsense from them. Containment Priest seems good against Tinker if they have it, which I assume they do. Take out Yawgmoth. Yeah, I love this hoodie. This is one of my favorite hoodies. And I only have, like, two. Maybe three. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Mm, seems good. Oh, my name is Michael. Oh, I, I'm gonna play some magic with my buddy. Oh. Oh, Kurt, no, I love that Basquiat hoodie. Oh, Pack Rat, huh? Well, isn't that fancy? Oh, that's unfortunate. Wow. Unbelievable. It's called charging your phone, Frank. Hmm. Don't you work at a desk all day? Yeah. Can't you charge it while you work? I may have forgotten to put it on the charger. Huh. It's a cool story, bro. And watching a stream will really take up your battery. Don't you have two monitors? Can't you just watch it on your screen? No, my job actually kind of requires both monitors to function. Wow, what if you work from home and you only have one monitor? Well... They actually let you, if you need an extra monitor, you could have taken one from work. Taken? Yes. Okay. But also taken. Mm, that's not a word. Taken is not a word? N no. You sure? Yeah. How sure are you? Come on, man. <laughs> it's pretty high, man. The amount of certainty I feel is, is high. I think I counted my tarifi. Okay. What days will do you? And they bounced an island instead of just casting it? That's this is all very strange. They also had a man up to daze you back, so like there's no reason to or pay for in days from you, so like what was the point of that? Well I guess they're gonna activate rat, but whatever. <coughs> oh sure, I guess that makes sense. Well, yeah, you remember that Liam Neeson movie, Tooken? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Where they took in his daughter? Yeah. Tooken, it's one of the hobbits from Lord of the Rings. It's true. No, that's that's actually the writer, wasn't it? J.R.R. Tooken? <laughs> it's going to be one of those games where you, you got just... any Wrath of Gods in your deck? Do you have any shut the hell up in your face? That's aggressive, man. Got him. What I do have is a very specific set of skills. 
a skill scout it. You know what? It's messed up. They can counter my Baleful Strix, too. Thank you, Hunter. That was really cool of you to do that. What did he do? He messed up the thing. He always does it. What did he mess up? This is the curtain. What? He moved the curtain, okay? He broke reality. Oops, there goes gravity. <laughs> that was a perfect draw. Wow. Those are pretty good blockers. That's what I'm saying, man. You got rats? I got bird I got rat I got birds coming down. Making making He's still committing to this rat strategy. Well, he's sending them on down to rat train, Michael. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> Can you think of how many rats he's going to make with that? Probably one because he only got one swamp. Oh, yeah. That's true. But, you know, I'll, I'll block two of your rats. I don't give an F. I don't give an F. <clears throat> oh, wow. Now they just got the one rat. Don't rat me down. What? Hmm. I don't know who the best player is. Uh, I mean, if we bounce this rat, they make another rat, and they have a 1-1 one, one rat, and then they can make another rat, and then they have two rats. And then they kill your Jace. Yeah. You could just... What about... I'm gonna just slam and Muldrift during drawing two cards. I mean, and you block with it. And then they just kill it though. They make a rat this turn, a rat next turn, and they have three three threes. Sure, but it gets you some cards. Wow. Well, who cares if I'm dying as long as I got some cards well, in my hand? I don't think the cards in your hand right now are gonna do it for you. Well, you can't cast Tube. I guess you could ca cast Time Warp. I do like Time Warp here a lot, actually. It's kind of free, so. And if we hit a black source, that'd be good because then we can chop it up. Yeah, Choop slows them down a little bit. Uh, not what we're looking for. Uh, it actually could be, though. It is not. It is. I mean, if they had something you could hit, they'd probably just, in response, pitch it, right? Oh, right, but then they still... Oh, yeah, but I mean... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I guess we're just going to play... I think we're just playing Jason Bouncing. Maybe they'll forget. I don't think they will. Dang it. Yeah, they did. Oh, well. Which is it gonna be? Tell me, Michael B. I ain't telling you nothing. I hate you. Damn. Got him. He did got him. They're really deciding over <coughs> a little modern quote. One, two, three, four, five. You have seven mana. Two mana gets you this. Three mana gets you this. Which I mean, like, it also means that their next turn is just going to be Pack Rat, Kill Jace, which is fine. Because then if we draw black, we can choop one of them. Then they have a 1 1. Like, their, their, their restriction to black here is really their bottleneck. How about a Rat Rat? <laughs> it's possible. Got him. <coughs> did you though? I think I did. Sometimes it's hard to say though, you know. Old Man River. 
Thanks, to Puppy Dog Eyes. Puppy Dog Eyes. Now we're sharing the same dream. Make a rat is what you want. I actually got want. sleep tonight. It was pretty good. You got it tonight? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yes. In the future? God damn it. That's wild, man. <sighs> tonight I got sleep. Orzov Signet, so they kept the inkwell. Why don't they like go play the signet, then discard the inkwell? That's interesting. Oh, second black source. We're good at this game. One, two, three, four. So let's say you send someone something in the mail. So let's say you send someone down to Rat Train. And you pay for two day shipping. Uh huh. And it doesn't get there in two days. Uh huh. Can you get a refund? Who would do what carrier? USPS. The USPS only has priority, which is two to three day shipping. Right, but it's been like four days. I mean, not really. No, you can't. It's like it's that's life, man. It's a <clears throat> pandemic, Michael. Sometimes your unimportant mail might take an extra day. Right? <laughs> Fucking deal with it. God, I should have just I should just put it in a regular old goddamn envelope. I don't know why you didn't. Why wouldn't you just send it first class? What's the difference? First class is like three to five days. Huh. And it's cheaper. I was hoping for the person to get it by their birthday. That's why. So Maybe you should have sent it sooner than, than two days from their birthday. It's also an option. Hmm. Well, you know what they say, Michael. Get them. One turtle. Where's the girdle? What? You heard me. One turtle wears a girdle. Got it. So we can actually play Mole Drifter here. Do we play Land yet? Or we can play Galenalendra. Either way, you're blocking. So Glenelendra. You need to poke your head out of that, little, that cave, you little bear cub. It's true. Why not change their birthday to a few days in the future? Mm. Also a solid strategy. Right now, you would not get a refund. Under normal circumstances, also no. <laughs> USPS doesn't care much. I mean, there's no, like, guaranteed. Like, it's not like you're... It's a postal service, man. You're lucky to have them, okay? I, I, that's why I asked, bro. Okay, I didn't know. So no. That's now, why I'm, now you know. I'm here to know. Now he's here to know, God. guys. He's here to know. I hope people don't understand. Questions? They're in top deck mode. What's the worst they could draw? Tinker or some nonsense? I'm just going to play this. Uh, I don't think there's a vintage cube that isn't powered. The whole point of being called vintage is that it includes vintage cards, which is power. So. Yeah, when you remove the power, it's just basically the legacy cube. Yeah, it's just like, right, that's exactly right. Is legacy cube a thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. The unidirectional flow of time is overrated, buddy. I agree. Hey, man. Trying to get that ramen tonight? No, I'm just getting some Indian, bro. Man, you're always on the Indian train. Yeah. It's a delicious train to be on. Send them on down to Indian train. I'm just getting Thai. Get whatever the fuck you want, man. I don't care what you do. Did you just say... Get that Tiki Marsala. <laughs> No, I'm gonna get in. No, I should have though. I really should have. Oh, they didn't do anything. This is great. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever gone outside and got to call on the Rat Train? I'll get you next time, Gadget. Oh, this is pretty baller. We got a we got a resto under this thing that we can yeah, we can, can blink now. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> nice draws. <laughs> But they were not nice draws. They were... I think you might be able to crawl back into this game. I'm a, I crawl back in? I'm fucking in this game completely. What's what you're... What? what? You we're definitely losing for a while. You're a... You're a... You're losing. You're a losing. What? I think you had a stroke. Hmm. You could rest of that. Kill this thief. I mean, I'm more worried about the pack rats.
<laughs> My problem is that if we resto this right now, we don't get to keep up Glenny boy. That's also true. I think I'm just going to keep up Glenn. This is a fine trade. <coughs> I mean, if we blink it, we're just killing one rat anyway, so it's literally the same thing. But now we can blink Muldrifter if we really want to. Which I kind of do. Uh, all of the mocks are definitely legal in Vintage. They are, they are restricted in Vintage. Vintage as a format means all cards are legal. Or not all... Well, you can play with all of the cards, basically. Except for, like, anti-cards, because those are silly. Yeah, no one cares about that. Send them on down to Cave Cub. Have you ever been outside and got to call on Michael B? Could you imagine if you could play with anti-cards, and you're like, okay, I'm going to draw seven cards, but I'm going to bet my $100,000 deck on it. Playing them. And uh, do, 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 do. I drew Ancestral Recall. Spell Pierce is fine. Tarifi. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Biscuits and gravy. I mean, I think it's got to be bribery, right? Even though Ulamog and Inkwell Leviathan are both in their trash can. Hmm. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just Turf. Tarifi. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just Teferi and bounce their pack rat. Kisses! What is that? What does that mean? It's giving you kisses, bro. Oh, we just win the match. <laughs> I'll do, pig. If you knew he was going to... Oh, never mind. Oh, it doesn't, never mind. Doesn't make any sense anyway. Start deck if you want to see it. We got Recall. We got Ashiauk. Little Teferi, Big Teferi, Burberry, Sphinx, Mind Twist. Yeah. The only thing this deck is mixing is like a Lotus or a Mox. Sorry, it's not good enough for you, Michael. No, it's real good. <coughs> oh, boy. I mean, you almost keep any hand with Ancestral, right? <laughs> Did you hear that noise you made? No. We all heard it. Guys, you heard it right. I'm not crazy. You heard it right. Confirm. Well, they went to six. I said, God damn. Better muscle. <laughs> That's pretty good. So if we go land ancestral on their turn, we go to seven, we go to six, we go to nine, we go to ten on our turn, we'll go land bitter blossom. We'll only have to discard one card. Is that worth it? You guys are not practicing correct social distancing. Well, we already live in the same house, so. <laughs> yeah, like neither of us go anywhere. Like I, I work from home, Mike works from home, so like we don't actually. So there's actually a pretty small chance of it happening. And again, we also live together in the same house, so. If we did get it, even if we were social distancing, there's like a chance. So, so give, there's a chance we could still give it to each other anyway. So. Closer. <laughs> <laughs> God. Jesus. Oh, boy. Closer. What are you saying right now, Mike? God. I think we're just going to Ancestral and then play Bitter. Why? I don't know, man, because I want to have more options. You're going to have to discard cards. I have to discard a card, which is what I just went over. It's not worth it. It's better just go land, land, blossom, then thinking about ancestral. And says, and says, your 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 English mana, has been terrible just, today. It's always been terrible. What's the difference? Ancestral. Because ancestral, you like, should be able to feel each other's heat. <laughs> wow. Yikes! Are they gonna attack? Oh wow. Good gravy. That way it kills the virus. Yikes. Okay. I wanna ramp it with you. We're ramping. I hope that's not too slow. With your heat combined. With Michael B's face combined. Oh. 
Oh. Got heart fern burn from the Burger King. Heart fern. I also had Burger King. Did we both go to Burger King for lunch? That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, when I got back, your car was gone. I was like, I wonder where you went. Burger King. Went Burger King. Burger Burgle King. The deals are so good, man. Burger King's a great like one dollar for eight nugs. Like, how do you even sustain that? Five dollars for two sandwiches and two fries. I mean, that's more than most people will eat for a lunch. But oh. I guess if you want to have a fifteen hundred calorie lunch, that's totally your. Oh, that's pretty good. Because <laughs> now we can do this jobby followed by a bribery next turn. I guess we're just hoping we don't die, right? Like, that's the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 8 mana? 9 mana if they play land, right? Three, four, but, like, Crater Hoof's less scary because they do have... I mean, like, they can't attack with this and they have to tap... Yeah, Crater, yeah so. they could play Crater Hoof, but it wouldn't be enough to kill you. <clears throat> I guess we're just hoping they don't have... Uh, that'd be 4, that'd be tapped... Woody boy. Five, six. It's a good start. Oh, well, they could be activating that too, guys. Cradle. I mean, I'm just going to block so I don't take three here, but. There's <coughs> one Michael's through. We're jamming. 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 Four, five, six. They only have seven mana. No Terastodon, no Woodfall Primus, so that's good. We're jamming, 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 we're jamming. Michael B. lives in the sea. Michael B. <coughs> Come on. Oh, nothing. Interesting. I... We'll draw. Oh. One, two, three, four, six. We have seven, so we can actually go bribery and then phantasmal image, whatever we get. Yikes. Well, that helps. Let's see what you got, Drewski. Let's see what it is. <clears throat> what it is. I got my screen clipper out. Take a gander. Are you going to instant speed Green Sun Zenith? Are you going to resolve? today junior you're the thing about conceding i know they're like is it can i come back from a bribery if they get our best thing because i mean if you think you're gonna just lose you should probably concede and not let your opponent see right yes although that's also awkward because then your opponent knows like bribery is definitely good against you so well you're never gonna it take it out against the green deck i'm never gonna be so. like green deck I don't need bribery. They're probably not There's creature based. Have something, right. something big in there. Even if it's not big, like Acidic Slime, Whisperwood Elemental, like all of those cards are just fine. A Titan. I guess those are considered big. Yeah. I also could see if you want to hide your Pokemons that you slipped in earlier. That's also fair. Uh, I just want to know if my bribery resolves, my dude. Hey man, you know what would be really funny? No. See, now Lurus is like real big in Legacy, right? Oh, you mean and an vintage? And vintage. And modern. Okay, well, hold, slow down. Okay. What if instead of banning Luris from Legacy, they just ban uh, Lion's wow. Eye Diamond? Wow. Um, I think you'd still play it. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you get back, like, still, you still get back everything, right? Like, Oh, it's still good. I'm just, I'm just wondering if that was a, th a direction they might take. I kind of want Day of Judgment in here. I'll take one blue out, add another white. LED destroys dredge if banned. Uh, it ruins like, quite a few decks if LED is banned. Oh no, not dredge. Oh no, not dredge. It also stop storm. <clears throat> There's quite a few decks to play. There's a lot of combo decks to play. I kind of like condemn here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And then just ban companion. Two, admit it was a mistake five, and move six, on. Seven. I yeah, I agree with that. I don't think I don't think companion should be a thing. I just think it was a, I think it was a oh, what, what, it was a cute little experiment. It's a cool idea. Don't get me wrong. It's an interesting design choice. Like making your deck have restrictions. That's cool. They're just a but, little too pushed. Yeah. Like in what way am I never gonna like? Why would I ever play a deck with seven card starting hand instead of an eight card starting hand? Unless they're like really bad. Like <coughs> <clears throat> there's like two of them that are really bad, but that's about it. Hmm. That is. A tasty burger. It's basically like a commander, but for standard, right? And like all the other formats. It's like you just get a commander. Right, yes, I agree with you. Um, no blue, which is fascinating. Which but ones are actually <coughs> broken, though, other than the flicker it. one? Uh... We just talked about uh, Luris. That card's insane. It just lets you get. Wait, to... seriously? <laughs> uh, Lutri scene play in vintage. Here's an article with tons of. Uh... Yeah, check out his article. It'll explain it all. But. Um, yeah. yeah but... Like the flicker one isn't even. I don't even know what the flicker one is. Which one is that? That's the one where you have to have twenty plus cards in your deck. Oh, you're. Oh, that one's not even the most broken one. No, definitely not. That's like the third or fourth on the list. But even that one's still good. Right, of course. Can you post it one more time? Sure. Can I spam my own chat? I'll do it. Look, there you go. Bam. <clears throat> There's a bunch of uh, a bunch of tweets in that article from different pros about uh, what they were playing and what they've experienced this past weekend in regards to companions. I don't think I've seen one positive review of companions. Um, there was like one where it's like this is kind of fun, but like then it was like. Oh, but not. I'm sure there's a way to build them in a more fun, interesting oh, way, annoying. but that's not how tournament magic works. Isn't it, though? Ooh, tough choice. No, I gotta go with this. So, oh, this is. I'm glad this is a sort of fire and ice and not a sort of body and mind. I'm trying to read the review. What review? Talking about my article? <clears throat> I think they're really fun and limited. I mean, wouldn't you just play them in your main deck? It's really hard to... No, I've actually heard it's just better to use them as a companion. But it seems hard to build your... Like, what if you open them in pack three, right? Like, Yeah, it does depend on when you open them and which one you get. Sure. Oh, wow. <clears throat> well, like, Naruto is pretty easy to build around, just even cost. That's not Naruto? Naruto. Naruto? No. Hmm. You like Naruto? It's pretty cool. Is that your favorite anime? No. Not close. But it is... I do enjoy it. Oh, yes. Ah! Shell Doc hit the four lands. We're back on the Gonti train, boys. Do you even get the land if you activate it? No, because you can't nice. cast the land. It literally says you Epic. may cast it. So it's just a really bad... It says you may play. Actually, it says you may play. So maybe you can. Maybe. Oh, that's good. That's still paying two mana to play one land. It's like an explorer, right? I guess so. <clears throat> Could have Day of Judgment in here, but then if they hit a land, they get to go activate, pay to equip this, and then still still crack at us. <clears throat> Which is kind of rough. Instead, I'd rather hope to hit a blue source and uh, Burberry. Me and some proxied some. Uh, me and some friends proxied some cards in Commander. I had a mole six on my buddy who was who had Luris. As a companion, I immediately felt like I was so far behind, I might as well scoop. Hmm. Um, I'm interested what his commander was, because it only really works with two commanders. Hashtag two commanders. One, two, three, four, Because your five, commander six, also seven, has to be two CMC to, for that to work. I don't know if you guys know that, but... I don't know if you guys know that, but you gotta have the two CMC. I think we just Wrath here, which feels really bad, but... So we got... Hideaway gets around timing restrictions. Uh, well... So it has to be a black and white... Your commander and any colors have to be black or white. Or black and white. You have to have black and white. So, 
and it has to be CMC of two or less because your commander, even though it's not in your deck, it's part of your 100 card deck. So there's only two commanders that work with it. It's like, um, I can't think of the names of them, but they're two pretty casual commanders. They're two pretty casual commanders. <laughs> but I guess if you're playing casual, they still might be overpowered. Michael, you're a filthy casual. Got him. Huh, you may have a point. Lurus. A Lurus point card would be pretty sweet in Modern Burn. It's already played in Modern Burn. It's already a thing. It's already a thing in Modern Burn. It's, it's literally in the article I posted. It's also in multiple modern decks. Like, there's a Jun modern deck that plays it. Uh, yeah, those are the two. Yeah, Alia and Karlov. Those are the only two, I believe. All right. Well, this does it. hit us, but then we can bounce the sword, and they're not doing anything this turn. So, but I mean, if you're playing in a casual pod and and your opponents aren't playing like free counter spells and stuff, then yeah, it's probably pretty broken. All right, we kind of have to hit a, a blue source here, or we can Teferi bounce this. It's probably better to Teferi bounce. Oh yeah, if you're playing a creatureless deck, there's no reason not to play the companion. That's a three-two. Sure, it's just a vanilla three-two for you, but there's no reason not to play it. It's just free. Pretty silly. Can you have more than one companion? No. Yeah, it takes up a sideboard slot. So it's like, oh darn. <clears throat> Blue source. Black source. Solid. Solid gone. How are the games? We are up a match. And we are up a game in this match. Michael B. Hey man, you put any islands in your deck? No, just Shell Dock Isle. Hmm. I thought that was similar. <clears throat> Here we go. Six Rana. Carnage Tyrant. I think we're dead now. So all your premiums have to be low CMC in EDH decks. It's a little underwhelming. Doesn't seem like very good to me. Uh, yeah, sure, there's a downside, but if you're playing a like a eggs deck, which is like a deck that uses low CMC uh, artifacts to try to combat the game, it doesn't really matter. Although, I still, I don't think those decks are super competitive. The color restriction really hurts that card. In, uh, or the, your commander being too CMC makes it really hard to work with in commander. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Yeah, your, your non-permanents can still be as big as you want. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> now we got a game, boys. This is a hand. Four lands incoming. Oh, Ancestral. Deal. Next turn, do we Baleful Strikes or do we Orzhov? Bro, that means your Ancestral is going to cost two mana. It's not even worth it. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to activate it. <laughs> you know, it'd be sweet if we get to play Yogmoth and then Mall Drifter. We can ev evoke Mall. I'll check. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Get out of this box. Hey man, if you leave out a box, the cat's gonna get in it. Cats ain't got no respect for nothing, man. Oh, they definitely don't. 
You don't give an F about nothing. Would you rather an Obosh Gruel deck or an Azorius Lurus deck? Um, you know, probably Obosh just because Lurus seems pretty much everywhere. So I feel like Obosh would be more fun, for sure. <clears throat> I don't care about any of these idiots. They all die in my Yawgmoth. Land. No? No, I couldn't get a land there, huh? <sighs> any land lets us play Bitter Blossom into Yawgmoth next turn. That's all I want. One time, one time, one time, one time. Yes! Now we're alive. <laughs> now we're playing with power. <laughs> oh, wow. We just slam Yawgmoth and just get to kill both of their idiots. It's pretty nice. Yes! <laughs> I've been playing main deck Leyland of the Voids on Arena, and it's funny how many times I see Lurus decks just scoop to it. I mean, when you have the main, when you have the main deck Leyland of the Voids, it's not a healthy format. <laughs> no way, man! Leyland of the Void is a totally reasonable card to play in your main deck, <laughs> dummy. Oh yeah, that's cool, dude. When I play, when I <laughs> get to kill that too. Oh, and you have a green. Oh god. Oh god. I hope my opponent doesn't have a family. <laughs> also, every every sacrifice you nets you a card with Yogg. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, but you take a damage. So like, is it even worth it? <laughs> you might as well just concede. Oh boy. I feel like I can wait till they try to level this up, actually. So they got four mana here. And this doesn't do anything unless they level it up, so... You know what? Sure. Oh, it's insane. I'll send it over through your... Oh, dude. Dude, you're skinny. really appreciate it, man. That'd be awesome, dude. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it now. Sweet chicken face, Michael B. Oh. Interesting. I was not expecting this. They tried to level it up. Huh. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Peace within. Discard a card? I mean, sure. I feel like the damage is done here. <clears throat> Level up is a sorcery, which is why we chose to do what we did. Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Muldrift or keep up Condemn. I don't think we care about that as much, nearly as much as Consecrated Sphinx. I'll take him out after this after this game. Oh god. Oh god, what if they use Sylvan Library's ability? Go ahead. Do it. Yes, excellent. Hunter, stop leaning on me. Because your Yoda video yesterday introduced me to the best song ever. Yeah, post the link. Go. Hunter, I'm trying to get over there. Get, go. Go that way. 
Um, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, might as well. Oh, now we got a bribery. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have eleven cards. Uh, we can easily go land him monolith, so that puts us down to eight. Here comes a primeval titan. Green sun for five. <sighs> okay. Deranged Hermanos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, Day of Judgment's actually pretty interesting. In case they get saucy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven with Monolith, eight with normal mana. So we can go like one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. We can actually go <clears throat> him, colonnade, monolith, bribery. Yeah, I think the only thing we lose to is Cradle Hoof, right? Well, they only have six mana right now. Well, in theory, they go Cradle Hoof. Cradle Hoof? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's wild. Do a little cradle hoof. I guess if we, yeah, actually, if we crater hoof, we might just win. Um, two, we'll play monolith. Bribery you. Hoof is 8C is CMC, yeah. So if they have Cradle Hoof, like, I mean, out of their. Uh, there's Carnage Tyrant. <clears throat> oh, they might have. They might have Crater Hoof in hand. Gaia's Cradle is in the deck, though, so that's good. Actually, can we Eternal Witness and then play. Oh, we're one shy, aren't we? <clears throat> Yeah, we are one shy of playing uh, Eternal Witness, get back Yawgmoth, play Yawgmoth, just kill their whole board. So they were playing Avenger here. Playing a land. Always yes, always yield. And we'll see what we hit here. <clears throat> Search and regrowth. Okay. So, assuming you have Crater in hand? Maybe? And they have to pay for this or else this guy dies. Sure. Didn't think they were going to do that. Although I don't know why they didn't block with deranged yeah, tournament. Cardiff cost eight. Um. Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like. One, I don't think you need to draw. Yeah, we one. just went in the match. They just looked at their top two. All right, so two zero. -oh. Let's go for the go for the gusto. The Discord server is available only for patrons. Uh no, it's also for subscribers, Mark. Just have to connect your Discord and Twitch account. Also, from what I've heard, you can't connect them via mobile. You have to do it. For yeah, you gotta be on the desktop. But once you're connected, Thank then you. you're good. Happy birthday, Mucho. You're twenty two months old. <laughs> God, time flies. David, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Hey man, if that's all you can verify how long I've been alive, because it's the only amount who's seen me, in his mind, I am twenty two months old. I know, I wasn't laughing. I didn't disagree. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. What's interesting about it, Michael? This is a meme, but is it a meme? No, it's the truth. <laughs> 
They're so funny at that age. It's true. Do you think they're going to counter my Ancestraleo? God, I hope not. They didn't. <clears throat> Kitty Cat, shut the fuck up. <laughs> God, he's so loud. The bitterest of blossoms. Next time I get to go <sighs> him to Torak, keep up spell Pierso. Oh, Baral. In a Baral world. Do, 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 do. And we have Ancestral. Let's see what we hit. Emery and Goblin Rabble Master. Fascinating. Man, Recall seems like almost having a companion. You are correct. I hope they play something like a coalition relic here, and I'm just gonna be like, pierce it! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm doing this in my hand, but you couldn't see it. Oh, and they took two. Oh, man, good gravy. Oh, yeah. Pierce them. Oh, and they took three from that? Oh, good gravy. How many you, times? You technically could have let it resolve. Why? Well, you have black creatures, so. Well, you know, I thought like attacking with my creatures, not having to block every single turn for I'm the rest of my life. I'm saying it's an option. Is it? it seems yeah. like a terrible option, Michael. I didn't say it was good. I just said it was an option. Okay, well. That Pierce got stimulated. You're right. It misses the dog. The cat? They're both in the same room. What's even happening right now? That cat don't miss nothing. He don't miss nothing. What a god dang biscuit. Are you attacking with Baral? You know what? Sure. I'll block. If you have a deal one damage spell, you know what? I'll, I'll just take it. Are there even any of those in this format? I don't think so. Oh, Tarifi. They'll do like three plus. You're just trying to get sneaky. Who? Your opponent. I ain't about it. What did they hit off this guy? Probably land, right? I don't think the blue-red deck can honestly beat a active Glonalindra. A active and an active. I feel like I teach Michael English. <laughs> Don't you live here? I'm in a way. <laughs> I didn't mean home. I'm in a way. I'm going away. God, you even messed up going home, Michael. That's why your dad left. Oh, wow. Double Teferi. I'm a Teffrey girl in a Teffrey world. I'm gonna go to So we're gonna bounce. What the, were you saying? Uh, I'm a Teffrey wor Teffrey girl in a Teffrey world. <laughs> hmm. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it's just it's kind of weird. Why? It's just it's just weird, man. What's weird about it? Because it's like a really random song and like, what does Teferi have to do with Barbie girls? And I just, just where is it coming from? It doesn't have to do anything about it. I mean, that's, it's not, there's nothing to do. We're not even talking about Barbie girls, Michael. What are you? No, you, you are. <coughs> what are you talking about? You know about? what you did. You know what you did? Um, probably just going to keep up Baleful Strucks. No, uh, Glenny. Yeah, let's keep up Glenny. Glenino. Glen Glenaruski. Oh no. You're both coming at Teferi? I mean, you're not dead on board, so I'm just going to trade with this guy.
That does not feel like it's going to put you in a winning position, my dude. <clears throat> draw a card yep they didn't want to see it you hate to see it yeah, I'm just gonna submit like this I don't really have any any complaints any complaints you're about to have a complaint what is it the sand is not good sand is fine you're actually you're out of your... Gonna, you're never going to draw blue. I'll draw blue on the first turn. <clears throat> we'll see. They went to six, Michael. It does make it a little better. I go to eight. I got. I basically have a companion. <laughs> Look, it's blue. It's a blue card. Shit. I didn't think you'd notice. Conscript, this is your hand? I mean, I'll take what this is. This hand is this hand is way worse than our hand. You're right. They don't even have any blue. The war of the two terrible hands, and I think yours is a little better. This is a body in mine, though. It's a little scary. <coughs> Field. You draw a bit of blossom. See. See what? That's a bit of blossom. I'm going for the rando one, huh? Come on. No whimmies, no whimmies, no whimmies. Yes. Got him. Do you really live like this? <laughs> See, that's funny. All right. All right. Well, this is, this is my life now. This is going to be an exciting game. It's not. Wow, they're just hitting all the all the bangers. Oof. <coughs> I can counter my you can counter my mole. No, you ain't. Left me far behind. You know that song? No. Really? No. No, you don't, or no, you do? No. Kitty cat, if you don't knock it off. Could just slam a Jace. Oh, wait, then they just get a consecrated things. That's not good. I mean, they're going to do that anyway. There's no, have no way to stop that. Hmm. Fair point. So maybe do just slam Jace. Do you just talk about doo-doo slam Jace? Yeah. You think I should doo-doo slam him? Yeah, man. Doo-doo slam that B. Doo-doo slam in Jace. He resolves. I'm going to look at their cards. Ooh, that's an interesting choice. Well, they're red deck. Um... Yes, I definitely want this on the bottom, actually, with two artifacts in here. In the garage, I feel safe. No Shut up and take my money. About. Ew, you're skinny. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you, my dude. I will respond to your email tonight, my dude. I appreciate it. All right, you get to draw two, which is fine. I mean, it makes Consecrated Sphinx like a divination, right? Like, it's not that exciting. I do want to play around, like, days, though, so... Oh, wow. Mono deck over here. Jesus. Uh, I'll put Dig back, and I'll put time warp on top I would have loved to be able to uh... it's a phantasmal image that consecrated sphinx but honestly I feel like we're okay so I ain't too worried about it what did it hit? deceiver exarch that's exciting
Are they going to get rid of my... Okay, they're just going to play it. I'm going to tap my land. I'm going to time walk. Riftwing Cloudscape, sure. All very fascinating choices you're making here. Don't forget about it. Don't forget about what? The Riftwing. Buddy, I'll never forget. Hashtag no. never forget. You 100% forget if you didn't do that. Don't you, sh don't you shut your face. <clears throat> million percent. It's rude. You're being rude right now. Let's start spreading the news. You and you are fine. I'm just going to pass here. We're going to Phantasm Image probably copy Choops just to kill the Deceiver Exarch. Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. I would say you could bounce the Exarch to be safe, but the problem is if they have Kiki, they can still get there, so... Well, no, I'm probably actually we're probably gonna Teferi and then blink it, which is nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll play Teferi. Draw a card. Draw three more. Play a land. <laughs> Kill this thing. I don't care about the Abbot of Kerr, I'll keep. I have a Jason at Tef round five. They're not in a position where they can, like, Zealous Conscripts Splinter Twin here. So, one, two, three, four, five. I guess if they go land Zealous Conscripts, if that's their hand, I guess we can lose, right? Sower? Sure. That's, I mean, we have Teferi and Phantasmal Image, so. Uh, no blocks. Teferi can take a two, a two, a two, a two. A do 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 do. So one, two, three. Nope. This guy. All right. Now we have uh, immunity. Okay, so put you back and you back. Play a land. Six mana, huh? If we Phantasmal Image the... <coughs> we can actually Phantasmal Image the Resto, blink our Choops, and kill their Sower. That seems great. Let's do that. Sower. Get that back. Now we can just play Glen. This game is over. I agree. Uh, you can just go five. We did you. We did you. And then we get to untap two blue sources. Sure. All right. 
seems good. Oh, also we have Tefri now, so they can't even their Riftwing Cloud Skate doesn't even resolve. <laughs> so gross. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so this is feels like two trophies, right? Dark dwellers, huh? Um you have literally no spells in your graveyard. Sure. It's just four four. That's pretty wild. Mm, okay. Is this what it feels like to have it all? I was, yeah. Oh. I'll start fate selling. You don't really need cards. <laughs> Maybe you don't. <laughs> Dang it. I always use the wrong one. Give it to me. Also, you can combo, you can fate seal, and then exile with Ashiok. That's good. Baleful Strix. Draw a card that we don't need. Might as well bitter boss. <laughs> What's the point? End the game faster. Okay, I guess. I activated you, 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 and you. Okay, they're all activated. <laughs> you have f four planeswalkers in play. <laughs> They're all very good. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do? They're all, like, arguably some of the best planeswalkers of all time. So, uh, Jace, Teferi, and Teferi definitely are. Ashiok is one of the... Oh, hold on. Let's see this. Ready? Okay, ready? Okay, it's gone. <laughs> See you later. And that's the end. That is what the second trophy looks like. Are we at the top of the boards, my dudes? Oh, yeah. Well, we're second, I guess, behind Carrie Berry. And, as always, let's open this treasure chest. I'm hoping for the big payoff of the foil Ikoria set. Dang it. We did get a derpy monster though. That's pretty hilarious. Wait, you can open a full foil set? Yeah, like one of the one of the perks in here is like it's a full like foil a set. Chance or whatever. It's it's probably pretty high, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, michaelb.com slash franklapore, coolstuffinc.com, and manatraders.com. All of the links and promo codes are in the description down below. Ooh, you're skinny. Thank you so much for the opportunity to, to check out that modern deck. If you guys want to have your decks checked out by me, uh, you can find out how to do so in the link in the in the description down below. So definitely check that out, and uh, we can play some sweet Ikoria cards. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs>